Hello and welcome. My name is Ajax Post and this is the Transport Fever One Hub Let's Play Speed Build Series. And we're just sat outside the main central station at Olgetto Monument Valley, uh, which is our hub city uh, of the name of the series, really. Um, I just thought we might start watching a few trains go by. And of course, the moment I picked to sit here and watch the trains go by to demonstrate how active, how busy, how exciting this hub station is, um, you get one train, and and that's it. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm sure. Oh, there's another one. Nope, nope, they are coming in. They are coming in. That is nice. Okay, so what we're doing today um, is going to be a little bit of a fixing episode. Uh, again, when you get to a certain stage in, in the game, don't you, uh, when you've got so much going on that um, <laughs> it all sort of escalates and you start to, need keep, to keep track of stuff and, and start... Um, maintaining and repairing and uh, refreshing some of your routes. So that's what we'll do today. And I've picked a couple of those here, uh, which are in-town bus services, to be honest, which may not sound the most exciting, but they are a key part of delivering profits to my good old-fashioned bank balance. The other thing I want to do is kind of an apology, really. Um, in the last episode, uh, we had a look at the Phosphorus Express, which was a specially named train um, with a name provided to us by uh, Mr. Fosfrek, uh, a long time uh, supporter of the channel. Thank you very much indeed for staying with us. Um, with us, I'm only me, there's only one of us. <laughs> well, not including you, obviously, as well. so there's at least two of us here. There's me here and you the other side. I'm going to stop waffling now. Um, and I, the, the Phosphorus Express, this line was one of our leading edge technology lines. It was the first one to be electrified. and when I replaced the old train on there in the last episode, I put on this, it's not a bad train, but it's not exactly the most modern, most exciting train. So what I thought I would do is I would hang my head in a little bit of a shame um, and put on it a properly exciting modern train on this line. So what we're going to do, actually, before we do that, I always like to check stuff. <laughs> I try not to, right, 140 passengers on this line, travelling at 125, what can we replace that with? I'm thinking something spectacular. Once the game gets me in here, uh, electric multiple units. I'm thinking a Shinkansen, yes. Not exactly brand new and modern, 1964, but it's something of a special train, isn't it? Um, when it comes to uh, to railway history, so that's what we will do. I think is there that's a more modern one. Well, that's a slightly more modern one. We do travel faster. Um, I don't think we need to go above 140 passengers, really. Uh, so if we stick that in there, 164 yards, that should be fine. That should fit within uh, our stations without any trouble at all so we will stick that 25 million no worries so it will go faster and be a whole lot sexier looking so yes i know it's not exactly an american train but we've kind of given up on that to be honest i'm not quite as strict as i used to be so we will just leave that there wandering away uh something else i want to update is the um, crossrail service here in Monument in our hub city of Olgetto, Monument Valley? Um, just need to keep the services coming into this city and around this city at peak performance, just to make sure we can handle all the passengers that want to leave uh, to travel to work or, or shop, and all those that want to come into the city. Um, and one of the things we're going to do is update the crossrail link, which is our main tram link. You can see it snaking its way through the town here. So we'll do that. Um, and again, I'm afraid um, we're not going to be using an American vehicle for that. So we're going to be looking at uh, updating and sort of re having another look at a couple of our internal city routes, which I've got listed there. Uh, I also want to uh, tackle uh, this, f this end of the freight network as well. Um, the freight trains go, is that one of them? No, that's that's one that makes money. There is another train line going up here to Stagecoach Wash, I think it is. 
Yeah, there it is. Um, there's two trains on there. And making money they are not. So what I want to do is make sure they've got enough cargo to carry. Um, one way I'm going to do that, I think, hopefully, is to start really making use of this quarry and uh, construction material plant here. So we'll add another train to that. Uh, so that should bring more um, construction materials into the network for that train to carry up. Uh, I might need to look at um, the, the in-town truck network on there. I don't think I need to, to be honest, because I believe that's fine. Um, and I've got another idea as well. Um, it's going to be buses, I'm afraid, in this episode. I mean, I like buses. I don't know about you. I know a lot of people who play Transport Fever really, really focus on the trains. And the trains are exciting. Um, but I do like to use buses. Uh, as, as you know, I imagine cause I've put quite a few into them, quite a few of them into the game already. So, um, yeah, and anything else that I spot en route as we go through the building section of this video, um, I will get into that. But for now, uh, as this vi oh, they're not changing over just yet. Let's keep an eye on it. Oh, is he coming into station? He, he is. We'll just hang around here for a moment and watch this. Uh, this train turn into a Shinkansen. I, I, it's a perfectly good working American uh, consist there, but I'm just thinking I want something flash and sexy for the Phosphorus line, for the Phosphorus Express. Um, and that's going to be something quite unique. So we'll just watch this guy switch over and become, it'll be turning Japanese. Uh, I'll put a link to the song in the description as well if I remember, <laughs> just so you know. Um, and then we'll head into the speed build. So, um, for now, I will stop talking very soon and hand over to the soundtrack for the speed build section. Thank you very much again for joining me today. Hope you enjoy the rest of the video. If you do, go on, give us a click on that like button. be very much appreciated. But even better, if you've got any thoughts, any uh, ideas, recommendations, suggestions, even criticisms, it'd be great to hear from you. Just drop them out into the comments box below. That would be awesome. And, of course, if you've not already done so, what a fabulous train. If you've already done so, why not subscribe to the channel? And that way you'll know when I upload another one of these or any of my other Let's Play series. But from me, Ajax Post, enjoy the rest of the video and I'll see you again soon. But until then, bye bye for now.